Hey y'all, Irix Guy here. Now I want to talk about some common nuisances with Apple iOS 7. So if you've just upgraded to iOS 7, maybe you have, maybe you have not. Maybe you've done it on your iPhone, maybe you've done it on your iPad, maybe you've done it on both. The one thing you'll notice during the iOS 7 upgrade process is that it's going to prompt you for a passcode. Now if you enter that passcode during the upgrade process like I did, what's going to happen every time you lock your phone and unlock your phone, you're going to have to type in that passcode. Now a lot of people may enjoy that because a lot of people may feel that they have sensitive data on their iPhone. Now for me, I don't have anything on my iPhone of value. so. I'm not really concerned. I mean, if I drop this phone in the gutter, if it falls off the back of my boat, if it gets stolen, who cares? You know, go for it. But some people may want a password. I don't. So what do you do if you don't want the password? Well, if you haven't upgraded iOS 7 yet, just don't enter the password. There's an option down there that will enable you to proceed with iOS 7 upgrade without entering the password. But if you did enter it, <laughs> like I did. It's not that hard to find, but where you go to take it off is go to settings, go to general, go to password lock, and then there'll be an option to remove it. And likewise, if you ever wanted to turn the password lock back on, you can go in there at the same place and click turn passcode on and it'll enable you to have your device lock or you can lock your device and have to type in that annoying password every time. So thanks for watching. As always, share this video with others and be sure to enjoy my other iOS 7 videos too. I've got quite a few already and I'll of course continue to post more as I, de as I delve more deeply into iOS 7. Y'all have a good day.